sex, the physical act of love, coitus. Do you like it? I was talking about my rug. You're not interested in sex? You mean coitus? These folks drive by, there's a high-speed pursuit, ends here, and then this execution-type deal. Call it. Call it, yes. For a whole lot. Just call it. The coins are... He's like the same person with two heads. Writer, director, producer, editors, Joel and Ethan Cohen made more than a dozen movies, and each one garnered a fan following. The brothers from Minneapolis, Minnesota are Academy Award winners and are often referred to as the two-headed director. Here's a look at the Coens from the perspective of the actors they work with. Cohen Brothers' first movie, Blood Simple, won the Grand Jury Prize at the Sundance Film Festival. They followed with Raising Arizona and Fargo. You know, it's proven that secondhand smoke is a carcinogen, the, you know, a cancer rate. That their films are unlike other films that uh, one might see, and um, there's a lot of humor and um, humanness to their films. Which I, which I like. If there was ever any question on the set who I was talking to, whether it was Joel, my husband, or Joel, the director, I could always turn to Ethan and say, what's he saying? Could you interpret this for me, please? The Coen's 1998 release, The Big Lebowski, a dark comedy, stars Jeff Bridges, John Goodman, and Julianne Moore. I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino, if you're not into the whole brevity thing. They make those, the kind of movies that I love to see where you, you don't know what's gonna happen next. You really have no idea. You have to try to describe the plot of this. It's kind of like, you know, what's, you know it's like this, it's similar to the plot of a roller coaster or well, a yeah. funhouse ride. What kind know? of movie is this? Yeah. You well, know. it's a boy and kid. Yeah. Yeah. They write this really tremendous script. I mean, it's always very, very solid. You can kind of draw everything from that. And then they, they have a very unique visual sensibility. Um, and they cast very carefully. So it's, it's sort of what they, how they treat the film as a whole, I guess. It's very different. Very marmot-like. Yeah. Very warm and like. Yeah. Another Coen Brothers comedy, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, based on Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey, is set in the Deep South during the 1930s. The movie starring George Clooney was nominated for two Academy Awards. Any of you boys, Smithies? <laughs> or, if not Smithies per se, were you otherwise trained in the metallurgic arts before straightened the circumstances forced you into life aimless wanderers? <laughs> <laughs> Any actor in this room, given a chance to work on a Coen Brothers film, would do it. Anyone. And so the idea that I got a chance to do that, first and foremost, and then I couldn't believe that I was going to do a musical comedy playing Ulysses, set in the mid-30s. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> oh, there's fiery Mediterranean. The Coen Brothers crime drama, The Man Who Wasn't There, was filmed in black and white. Billy Bob Thornton stars. Well, as a director looking at the Coen Brothers' work, I, I think the thing that I notice most about them is their preparedness and their efficiency. You know, I mean, they know just what they're doing. The Coens followed The Man Who Wasn't There with the romantic comedy Intolerable Cruelty, starring Catherine Zeta-Jones and George Clooney. I could have you just part for that. It was worth it. Any actor who doesn't want to work with the Coen Brothers is, you know, is out of their mind. I mean, a lot of us are out of our minds, but that's just too insane to be an actor. They have sort of a different spin on everything. So if you're ever going to do a, uh, a romantic comedy, it should be with the Coen Brothers, because you know they're going to screw it, screw with it some way. It was really fun. Tom Hanks worked with the Coen Brothers in The Lady Killers, a comedy about a Southern professor and his plot to rob a casino. This is ideal. This is perfect. This is more than perfect. I can scarcely contain my glee. Well, you're containing it okay. I think they're just a big fan of knuckleheads that don't do anything right, you know? I think they find constant mirth uh, in that subject matter, and they're willing to explore it to its furthest extreme. Joel and Ethan Cohen won their Best Achievement in Directing Oscar for the thriller No Country for Old Men. Javier Bardem took home the Best Supporting Actor Academy Award. That's the best deal you're gonna get. I won't tell you you can save yourself, because you can't. Joel and Ethan Cohen followed their Oscar with a crime comedy, Burn After Reading, starring two of their favorites, George Clooney and Francis McDormand, plus Brad Pitt and John Malkovich. I'm amazed you have the energy. You kidding? Pull around the corner, we'll do it in the back. So cool. Now back in the car, not, not in a rearranger situation.
guys. Writer director Guy Ritchie had only a few films under his belt before Hollywood took notice. After his action caper, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, actors like Brad Pitt and Benicio del Toro were begging to be in his next film. They